Kimchi, we all love it. The delicious fermented spicy cabbagey goodness hits the spot and goes with every meal. So this is horrible news that I'm bringing up when I say we may lose kimchi to the climate crisis if we don't get our shit together. Kimchi is yet another potential victim of global heating, joining chocolate, tequila, rice, and corn as food that is being threatened by the climate crisis. The negative effects of climate change, such as global rise in temperatures, changing precipitation patterns, the ever-increasing rate of droughts and heat waves, sea level rise, melting sea ice, and more intense natural disasters. All of these are direct threats to our food system, which includes kimchi. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the extent of climate change impacts on individual regions will vary over time, and different societal and environmental systems will have varied abilities to mitigate or adapt to change. This is directly affecting our beloved kimchi. The Napa cabbage thrives in cooler climates and mountainous regions where the temperatures during the summer growing seasons would rarely go above 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. However, studies show that rising temperatures brought on by the climate crisis are threatening the delicious Napa cabbage by heating the mountains they are growing on. Cabbage farm last year was less than 4,000 hectares compared to almost 9,000 hectares from 20 years ago. Climate scenarios project the farmed area may shrink dramatically in the next 25 years to just 44 hectares, with no cabbage grown in the highlands by 2090. While it's easy to see a year like 2090 as being so far off it doesn't matter, some people may think, I'll be bones by that time, why should I care? And you know what? You're right, you probably will be bones, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't work to stop this from happening. We need to dismantle the fossil fuel industry now so that in 2090, our descendants can enjoy a delicious helping of kimchi with their meal. Undeniable.